how to beat TNS. How to beat TNS. I wonder, Duff it. Do you think we could poison the TNS squad? Nothing serious, just so like, you know, they were fighting over the toilet or something. Hello? Ah, uh, yes, hello. I'm calling from Leeds United uh, regarding a torture rack I've got uh, advertised on Google here. From Leeds United? Wow, well, yes, uh, yeah, yeah, we're selling a torture rack. Alright, good. Now it's in good nick, it's strong. Yeah, mate, yeah, never actually used it, but uh, she's in good nick for sure. Really, you've never used it, so I've got to ask, why do you have it then? Ugh, to be honest with you, mate, I wanted to inflict as much pain on one of my players as his back heel uh, outside the penalty area inflicted on me. Uh, but, you know, apparently torture was frowned upon in Britain. Really? I want to inflict pain on one of my players as well for a stupid pass. Uh, what did your guy cost you? Ugh, knockout stages in Europe, what about you? Ah, uh, place in the Carabao Cup final, mate. Wembley, no, he doesn't come around all that often. Oof, yeah, that sucks, mate. That really, really sucks. But I tell you what, she's all yours if you wanna. Uh, just make sure if you get caught using it, uh, you didn't get it from me. Yeah, mate, no worries. Uh, my lips are sealed. Uh, probably send it offshore, to be honest. Use some of this Premier League money for something. Anyway, I'm gonna send my assistant round tomorrow to pick her up. Hope that's okay. Yeah, yeah, sure thing, mate. Sounds good. Listen, while well, I have you on the phone, any chance we could loan some of your players? Hello? Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain. Welcome to Season 3, Episode 12 of The Impossible Dream with Violet Town. And it looks like we're going to get that torture rack off our hands, which is an excellent, excellent thing. Uh, now, today we are playing two massive games. Two, we're playing second and third in the league. TNS and then Canafon. No, that's not how you say it. Canafon. I think that's how you say it. Uh, anyway, a few things to catch you up on since last episode. The transfer window had come and gone. Now, we didn't sign anybody, but... Chris McKee did end up leaving the club. Off to uh, Lane, or, or Lan, I'm not, again, don't know how you say that. Uh, he's worth 13 grand, which is fine. Um, we pay, sold, sold him for 1.7. We do have a 50% sell-on clause. So whatever he goes for for his next club, as we get half of. So hopefully it's not a free. Um, but anything else, we'll get something for him. He just, he wasn't happy. So, I mean, we're not going to keep him because, you know, I was basically being forced to play him to try and keep him happy and he wasn't particularly doing well. So, um, well, he was keeping Brew out of the team when he was doing well, more to the point. So, yeah, we got him out the door, which is fine. Now, a couple of other things to catch you up on. If we go to uh, Club Info and Facilities here, we have upgraded again our junior coaching and youth recruitment. So, junior coaching is now good academy coaching. So, that's excellent. The higher we can get that, the better because we're going to need our academy strong if we are going to challenge in Europe. Um, an adequate youth recruitment. We'll continue to invest in that. We have the money to do it. Next, the first thing we're doing once we actually turn professional and that is sort of done in the bag, sealed, delivered, is facilities. Uh, we do have four and a half million pounds to spend on facilities, um, in theory, <laughs> but we will be, uh, that's the first thing I'll be doing. As soon as it April, no, May 18th, is it, I think, or 22nd, something like that, where we turn professional. As soon as that's done, we will be looking to upgrade the facilities as well, and then I think we'll really start cooking with gas. Um, now, let's have a look here. We've got to catch you up on two games since last episode. The first one is the Scottish Cup game against TS, no, STM Sports, I think it was. They went down to 10 men early, and Bakari took advantage of the extra space to smash us into the lead. We doubled our lead minutes later when Glennon crossed for Follerin. But we couldn't add to our tally in the second half, and STM even pegged one back. So there we go. I mean, we were really, really poor against a lower division team with 10 men. Um, we should have we should have scored more goals. We didn't. Uh, Bakari and Follerin ended up with the goals. They got one back late on. And I was really, uh, to be honest, I was fearing uh, that, that, that them coming level. That is how bad, in a way, we were. But you can see the match ratings there weren't so bad. Nato had a shocker. Um, yeah, anyway, less said about the better. We, it's a cup tie. We got through. That's the main thing. Next up, we played Bengal City in the league. Bussin Brew smashed home a first half penalty to give us the lead and he doubled our advantage on the hour mark with a great first touch and finish. And he completed his hat trick, tapping in Reese Williams' flick on. So there we go, that looks comfortable. Uh, this was the first game of the split, but I'll be honest guys, it, again, it wasn't comfortable. We were really, really poor. We were really, really lucky. They had two goals disallowed for like fractional offsides. You can see by the match stats. Um, it was a very, very even game. The player ratings would suggest that we were better, but look, it's our defenders that played well, and Bustenbrew who got the goals. Um, that was essentially it. There really was nothing in this game, and the score massively, massively flatters us. And I am extremely worried 
about the, our ability to go on and win this title, I'll be honest, because we're not playing well. We played the New Saints, obviously, today first up, and then Karnafa, and um, we're only a point ahead of them, and we are in horrible form. Uh, Welsh Cup quarterfinal, we're playing Bangor City again. Uh, so let's hope we, again, we just need to try and we just need to be better, basically. That's all. <laughs> just be better, boys. I, I can't put my finger on what it is that's going wrong. Um, and that's almost the most troubling thing. Now, we are favourites for this one, which is interesting. I mean, their form isn't great, but it's that's not the worst. Um, we've got a decent record against them overall. We've won more than we've lost. That could, of course, all change. Still a Scott Rusco coach team, standard uh, balanced playing style. Still playing their 4-5-1 formation. Um, which is their right to do, really, isn't it? We can see there the heat map from their narrow win over Afen Lido. I don't really... Yeah, like I say, I'm a little bit worried because we're just not playing well. You can see their key passes there as well. So basically, what I've gone is we're going back to... We're going to go back to the European formation, I think. Um, I'm toying whether we want to stick these guys forward or not. Maybe we should. All right, let's do it. Anyway, this is the team we're sending out. It's just whether we want the, full, the wing backs further forward or not. Uh, the problem is that Newton isn't really natural in this position. So I'm wondering if we're better off having him start where he is more natural. But it's fine. It's fine. So Gray goes in goal. It's Lewis, Glennon, and Williams as a back four. A back three, sorry. Bakari down the right. Newton down the left. Vieira and Parsons in midfield. Wait. He has a link up now with Bustonbrew up top. And Allmark comes in as well. We've got a decent bench. I have organized a friendly midweek. Because what's happening is our players that aren't playing... Uh, their match sharpness is just falling off a cliff right now. So we're going to have a friendly in-between games here for the for the reserve guys. Um, Serafino is basically the third-choice striker right now. He should be good. We know he's better than he's been playing. So let's hope that uh, he needs to show up for us now if we need him. So everybody is playing as expected. Now, another news. Uh, Barrytown actually beat. The, the TNS's loss was actually the uh, League Cup final. Barrytown ended up going on and winning that. Um, so well done to them. If you beat Bala and, and TNS on your way to a cup win, then you've, you've earned it. Uh, expected to pick up where they left off. I don't think we were good where we left off. I'm going to say there's no pressure on you here today, boys. Um, I, I'm wondering if the pressure is getting to us. Which it shouldn't do because it's not like it's the first time we've ever played you know, for a title. But I just wonder if, if, if it is getting to us a little bit. So we're at home. I tell you what, I'd almost take a draw now the way we're playing, but... I'm hoping that sort of taking the pressure off on a team talk, switching back to a, the European formation, more or less, uh, a little bit more attacking in wide areas, but I'm hoping that will serve us well. Um, I'm just genuinely just a little bit worried about how this season's going for us. Good ball, Buston Bruce there, and Buston Bruce sticks it away. 25 goals now for transfer listed in the summer, Luke Buston Bruce. All mark with a cracking assist there, and that's an amazing start. A really, really, really good start. 1-0 against TNS. And if we can go on and win this, then the four-point gap is back. And you just wonder if it'll take a little bit of more of the pressure off. It's good, wasn't it, Buston Brew? Just pulling off the defender there um, and a cracking header. He's just an absolute star for us. I did say all along, I thought this season was going to be our most difficult one because we've had so many fixtures uh, and really not been able to train very often. Come on, boys. Get this away, please. Away. Oh, just past the post. Um, so if we can get out of this season as champions, back in the Champions League, and all the sort of the money and that entails, um, I think we might really be able to kick on there. Good ball to the back post. Bakari! Oh, Bakari sneaks a header under the arms of the keeper. It's 2-0. And go on, Bala. We're ripping them to shreds right now. What we don't want to do is get carried away. As they say, 2-0 is the most dangerous lead. Um... But a decent ball in. Was it Buston Bruno? No, it was back to Newton. Newton with a good ball in. And I'm not quite sure what the goalkeeper is. A good header from Bakari. But you'd expect your professional goalkeeper to be saving that TNS. I would imagine. But it's 2-0. And that is... I'm breathing a little bit better now. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the Bengal City game... It, it, it really... Oh, that's not great. Oh, it's offside. We're getting a lot of... Off, I mean, it isn't offside lucky. You could argue not. Um... But another one, like I say, Bengal had two... Yeah, see, that's not... That's just poor. <laughs> that's good defensive play, if anything. Um, Bengal had two of those that were much, much closer. And like I say, 3-0 really, really flattered us. And when you're only beating a lower, a lower league team with 10 men, 2-1, um, on the back of the two defeats we had, of course, on Friday, your last episode... I was, I was very concerned, but that's been much, much better. Uh, assertive boys, don't get complacent here on me. 
Uh, we'll tell Glennon we want a little bit more, a little bit of sympathy for Glennon. We've kind of been, we, I've kind of been moving him around between left back and uh, and centre back. So, yeah, I mean, it's not unsurprising that he's a little bit unsure of where he's playing right now, whether he's Arthur or Martha, as they say. Um, let's give them some praise, I think. Let's just try and settle them down. Waits not having a great game in there. We do have Henry Jones on the bench. I'm just I'm always terrified to take Wait off because he is just far and away our best player. Uh, I mean that's League One almost championship level quality there. So yeah, I'm a little bit terrified to take him off. Let's maybe make some changes now though. Um, Bakari's looking tired. I only really have Follon as an attacking option on the bench. I don't think we want to make that right now. Um, Let's okay. Let's bring Henry Jones on for James Wade. I'm terrified. If I made a horrible mistake, instantly I regret doing that. Um, and let's maybe bring Serafino on for Allmark. No, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's leave that as it is. Um, yeah, let's leave that as it is. I'm trying to give uh, Henry Jones some match time for match sharpness because ideally I don't want him playing in the friendly midweek for match sharpness because he is an important player for us. But there we go, boys. That is a massive, massive win. A bit of a snooze fest in the second half. A very, very tight game. But the match readings, I think, tell the story there. It was comfortable for us in the end. And we get that four-point lead back at the top of the table. Wow, boys. Really? Come on, that was a bad team talk. You tell a team not to get complacent after a good win. And there we go. Oh, there was also a fan day. That's right. A fan day. A bumper crowd of 368 fans. Um... Yeah, I really hope we can get crowds up soon because we need <laughs> a little bit more support than that to uh, get us over the line in Europe, I would think. We'd, could we be the first ever te team to win the Champions League with an average attendance of under 1,000? We'll find out, I guess. Guys, wait right there. It's Kanafara next. Can we consolidate our good position in the league now? Okay, welcome back. We go to Kanafaran and we are favourites. This is a big, tough game for us, though. We know they beat us last time out. Um... And they're third in the league. I mean, that's probably where they're going to finish. But they are still third in the league. So they're a good team. Uh, what do we expect from them here? They're a Craig Harrison coach team. They have been for the last year or so. And they've he's really, really improved them. Uh, they're an adventurous passing team. Have a look at the analysis report. They beat Afton Lido 4-2 last time out. We can see that's how we're expecting them to come out at us. Um, very, very narrow. Goalkeeper obviously likes to hold on to the ball. So we'll try and prevent that if we can. There's their passing network and their key passes as well. And this is a team we're sending out. Now, one thing we're trying to do here is we are going to be very narrow, push high up, and try and stop them passing, uh, basically. I think if we press them, I think they'll struggle to keep possession. So it's Gray in goal. It's Luis. Luis? <laughs> Luis. Glennon and Williams as the back three. Bakari and Newton continue, as does Vieira and Parsons. Wait, Baston Brew and Allmark. It's the same team that beat the All Saints. The All Saints? The New Saints. Um... I haven't heard the All Saints for years. What a, what, a, what a good band that was. Anyway, 90s reminiscing. Let's go and beat uh, Canafrin. I can't think of any All Saints songs off the top of my head. I've gone blank. Anyway, um, we're lining up pretty much everybody as expected. Uh, in no uncertain terms, they must show an improvement. I thought we were okay against the New Saints, I'll be honest. Uh, again, just go out there, relax. Um, go out there, show what you have, what it takes. Let's try that, maybe. That seems to have motivated them. I, I'm really, really keen, having seen us play against um, against the New Saints there, that we just want to keep the pressure off them. Now, Canafrin are actually uh, the top of the current form table. So it's, it is going to be even tougher maybe than I initially had thought. Um, so yeah, let's just see what we can do. It's one of these now where we've given ourselves wiggle room against the New Saints. Yeah, I've got all Saints on the brain now for some reason. Um... But we want to, ideally, we want to have that three-point gap, or the, sorry, that four-point gap intact when we go to their place. Because they're going, we still have to play them again. And that's going to be a huge game. Williams with a ball over the top there for Buston Brew. Can he go again? It's Luke Buston Brew. No. Never really looked confident there, did he? Um, so there is an argument to say a draw here isn't the worst result. To get a draw at the New Saints, and, and that should be title done. But... That's not how we play, is it? And that's not how Football Manager works. We've already seen that we've lost games against teams we expected to win. So, let's hope we can do something similar here. I don't want to go attacking just yet. I don't like that the goalkeeper's looking nervous. Here we go. Can we open the scoring with a nice attacking throw? Bakari's there. What can he do for us? Bakari, good ball. No, it's not quite found its way over to uh, Newton getting forward there. 
up Gareth, who has just taunted us time and time again with assists. Has he done it again? Has he done it again? Oh. I tell you what, that would have been unlucky, but what a goal it would have been. Um, all right. Let's try exploit the middle. Let's try get creative as well coming into the break here. We do have nervous players, which is not ideal, but we've essentially dominated that. Just that one long-range effort. Um... All right, let's let's go. Let's go. We want to see a little bit more. We've demotivated the goalkeeper. Hopefully, no, we can't turn him around. We've got a nervous-looking Glennon. Glennon hasn't quite looked himself this episode, has he? Uh, we won't have to tell anybody that they're rubbish again. We've already told them once. So just, we believe you have what it takes, boys. Who's Joe Newton's not playing particularly well at left back. Now that's one where we could stick Glennon out there and bring Daniel Evans off the bench to play in the center of our defense. So we have options there for that. Um, let's get back out there. Let's tell them to get creative. I think it's one of these games, again, where what we don't want to do is fall behind. Buston Bruce having a poor, a, a poor day as well, as is Allmark. We've not really created much. And are we going to have another one of these games off the top of our heads? It's, what, third or fourth game out of about the last five or six, where we just don't look good. And there it is. We're 1-0 down. Um, all right. What can we do to change things here? I, I don't even know that it's defensively that we look so bad. It's attack where we're just... It's just not working. So let's try being expressive. Let's try lowering the tempo as well. Maybe we're just trying to do things a little bit too quickly for ourselves. And that is... That's messing it up. We won the first header here, which is frustrating. Decent uh, header out there by Ormark. This didn't quite close him down quick enough. And... Yeah, like I say, I just... I thought my I'm kind of frustrated. I thought the old, the New Saints game, the New Saints game. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Today? I thought the New Saints game we maybe just turned a corner there, but evidently no, we had not. What do we do? Um. Okay, you know what we could do. They've only got one man uh, back there, so let's. We could push somebody forward. We could bring Benny back heel. Who's not playing well? Lewis isn't playing well. So we could bring Benny back heel on for him. Make a change there. Stick him forward. Vieira goes forward. Um, uh, no, deep line playmaker on support. Uh, back heel Benny can go on attack. And yeah, let's try that and see how that works for us. Got faith in your back heel, Benny. Come on. Here we go from the corner. Ball in. It's headed away. It's still there though. Reese Williams is there. He tries to lash a shot in. It's there for Wait! Oh, James Wait. He just keeps coming up with the big goals when we need them most. And it's 1 1. We'll keep attacking because I think we need to win the game. We'll demand a little bit more. But James Wait. How many times? Well, he scored six goals this season. I think that's probably about the sixth worldie that we've seen from him. He doesn't score simple goals. That's why we love him. All right, Buss and Brute, lift your game, mate, or we're going to have to take you off here. Newton is also not having the best game that we've seen. Let's try giving them some praise. We're essentially dominating the game. All right, Buss and Brute. You've had your fun. We're going to give Serafino a go now and see what he can do. Parsons isn't having a great game in midfield either, so let's take him off and let's bring on Henry Jones. Um, Yeah. Let's see if we can go and nick this late. Come on, boys. Come on. Do we have another goal in us? Or are we going to see our lead cut after we've just extended it? Come on, boys. Is there something there for us? It doesn't look like there is. We've come away from Canafra with a 1-1 draw. The form they're in... I mean, we should have won that game, really, shouldn't we? But the form they're in, you wouldn't bet against them taking points off the New Saints as well. Um, what do we say? I'm not really happy with that. We should have won the game. So there we go. We failed to make the chances pay. Bakari's picked... Oh, it's a hamstring. I didn't even see he was injured in the game. I would have taken him straight off otherwise. But we are without our all-star. The Denny Alves of Benin. Pretty much to the end of the season. Two, three weeks. We're going to have to play Nichols out there. Which isn't the worst thing. But he's certainly a downgrade. League table, the New Saints have a game in hand. Five points. If they were to win that game in hand, that's against Bengal City. Chances are they'll win it. The gap is cut to two. Not ideally what we want, is it? But anyway, that's it for today, guys. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. 
And we will be back, I think, for... I'm not sure when this, if we were to win that, when the semi-final would be. But I think what we'll do is we'll come back for Bengal City at home and then the new Saints away. And it might be a case of then just going through to the end of the season and hoping that we can retain our Premier League title here, guys. Until tomorrow, I've been Aussie Bill. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'm moving, I'm coming, can you hear what I hear? Is it calling you, my dear? Out of reach, take me to my beach. Duffit, what are you doing? Close the door. Get out.